We were in love with each other. Once a shy, awkward child growing up in Newfoundland, Gordon Pinsent found freedom in acting. Get back and sit down. In the 60s, Pinsent became a household name that lasted more than six decades. I made up my mind a long time ago to have the same enthusiasm one way, one year after the other because the stories are different, the people are different. Think about it. The actor appeared in more than 150 TV shows and movies, including the feature film The Rowdy Man, set in Newfoundland and based on his own novel. And the spring water in the woods and the smells of things. Hollywood also recognized his talent, but the role that perhaps defined his career, a husband losing his wife to Alzheimer's in Away From Her. I'm your husband. It's grand. Pinsent has won every major acting prize in the country, but always approached his craft with humor and modesty. And I ran fast and before they could catch me and say, no, no, acting is for <laughs> silly people. The actor's family announced his death, saying Gordon passionately loved this country and its people, purpose and culture to his last breath. He was 92. He had zero ego. Everyone in every crew that I've ever seen him with uh, had so much respect and admiration for him. From the memoirs. Vincent the was memoirs. still prolific even in his later years. At 80, he went viral with a dramatic reading of Justin Bieber's memoir. Just a regular 16 year old kid. I make good grilled cheese and I like girls. Coming back to you. He also recorded an album of his own poetry. I think of you often down on the seagrass. There's a thousand interviews, a thousand plays, a million songs, and beautiful poetry. I'll journey to our you can have a new Gordon Pinsent experience every single day for the rest of your life by just uh, celebrating the work. A national treasure who will live on in the hearts of Canadians. Lisa Shing, CBC News, Toronto. So many warm tributes from people in the arts community, and let's add one more. Paul Gross is an actor, director, writer. He joins us from Stratford, Ontario, where he's preparing to play King Lear. Hi, Paul. Hi, how are you? Good, good. You knew Gordon quite well. You, you worked with him on Due South and Republic of Doyle. What should we know mm -hmm. about him? Um, I, I think that I was trying to sort of think about a way to kind of summarize him today, and I think it was, uh, he was just this... He had a lunatic creativity, a very beautiful, off-the-wall way of looking at the world that was so engaging and so compelling and so much fun. And it also carried with this huge generosity. And to work with him was was just kind of magical, you know. And, and he was so good with everyone else that I ever worked with. We worked together a lot. And we, he played my dead father as a ghost, which was his idea. That's sort of where that came from. And then it expanded as he decided that he should have an office in my closet, which only I could see and no one else in the show could see. And those ideas at face value seem crazy. But the thing about Gordon is they were always rooted somewhere. It wasn't just, oh, I have a funny idea. It was something he'd really thought through. And I think... I think we're, it's going to be a long time before we'll see his like again, if is we there, ever do. It's, is, is there anything about him that has rubbed off on you, any any part of you as either as an actor or a person that you kind of think, you know what, that's Gordon? I, yeah, I think if, if anything, more than anything, it was his love of the work. The, and I think when I was young, I could... I took some pleasure out of finding the work irritating or it was hard. And he just, he loved working and he loved being on a set and he loved being with actors and directors. And 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 adopting that has made my life a lot better. And I hope that others feel the same way who have worked with him. And I'm sure they do. Anyone who worked with Gordon was touched by him. You can tell a lot about a person based on what other people say about him. And we're certainly learning a lot of good things about Gordon Pinson today. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.